Hello everybody. Welcome back to Pokemon Soul Silver. Oh. Hmm. Hello. Oh. It's too hot to exist outside. Is my controller going to connect? There we go. She comes in with a phone call about a cold place after I just said it was super hot outside. Oh, Lyra. Okay, how you feeling, Onyx? It's always decorations. It's never anything useful. You should always buy a squirrel. Alright, we fought this guy. What kind of Pokemon is she going to use? A taser face! <sighs> Dig ought to take care of things. So I went to bed early last night. I went to bed at like midnight or a little after. I woke up around 9.30 this morning or 10 and I immediately fell back asleep and woke up around two or three this afternoon. I um, really needed the sleep, I guess. I was worn out. <laughs> Damn, static got me. Just she used Moo Moo Milk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see, nah, 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 nah. That's too little sleep. You can make yourself sick. Why is, why is Dig doing so little damage? Ugh. See that? See, do you see? Dig just isn't doing much. Finally! Finally! Yeah. 
Gonna be a yawn episode where I just yawn through the whole stream. Lovely. Ooh, Psyduck. Uh, let me see. For Psyduck. Nancy Drew or the Sims. I still can't believe Horn Attack is a normal attack. <sighs> I still can't believe she gave Moo Moo Milk the her Flappy. I'm used to gym leaders and the Elite Four members using potions, but you don't really expect like trainers out on the routes to use items. It's crazy. I think this kid has a Mr. Mime. <laughs> <sighs> yep, there it is. Mobilized by love. That did nothing. Okay. My attack power must be really low. I said sup in the Discord. You didn't reply to me. Because you was a bit. Of course, I haven't been on Discord much since I woke up. I posted a bunch of pictures and stuff that I had in my phone since last night and then just kind of walked away because, uh... Hmm. Okay, let me go see. Applied way after the fact. Okay. You applied after I went live. In internet time, seven minutes is an eternity. Oh, I'm just sitting here. I'm yawning so much that I'm tearing up. It looks like I'm crying. I had a single tear running down my cheek. Oh. And I just had a can of, of Diet Dr. Pepper. All that caffeine should be kicking in. It should be doing something. Come on, caffeine. Stupid, no good caffeine, not really helping. That's okay, I want to fight this little lady right here. Oh. Meow. <laughs> What's a high chew?
Is that the same as up dog? Did I just fall for a joke? It sounds like the up dog joke. Oh, okay. It's candy. We'll get there eventually. <laughs> Just rock throw after rock throw. Sweet and sour taffy taffy. I can't eat taffy because it, you know, it, the way that it gets stuck in your teeth and, and between your teeth and on the roof of your mouth. Oh, that drives me crazy. I just can't do it. I can't, I can't do the texture of it. Like, uh, an example would be like, uh, cheese puffs. Um, whatever they're called. You know, you have the little cheese balls that are like styrofoam. And then you have the, the one that looks like this. I forgot what they're called. They're orange. The cheese puffs. I had some of those the other day for the first time in years and years and years, and they taste okay. I wouldn't eat them again anytime soon, but the biggest for me was like, after I'd only eaten like two or three, yeah, the Cheetos cheese puffs, after I'd eaten like two, three or four of them, it was cake on all my teeth, in between my teeth, in my gums, between my gums and my cheeks. And it drove me crazy. It was like nails on a chalkboard. I I was in there with my finger like a kid swabbing around trying to dislodge all of the food stuff. And so I was like, uh-uh. This is gross and I hate it. I hated the texture and I hated the feeling of it. Mm -mm. I won't be eating those again. I'm trying to cut out junk food anyway. I'm having a hell of a hard time staying consistent with any kind of diet. I really want to be put on Ozempic, but my doctor just don't want to put me on any kind of medication for weight loss and I don't have insurance, so I can't go to any other doctor. The doctor I see now sees me because I, uh, they have a program that you can sign up for, for like uh, low income families. And I pay like $25 copay every time I go. And then I don't have to pay anything else. So it's the only way I can go to the doctor and get my meds. Um, yeah, I know Ozempic is kind of for diabetics, but it's also, it can also be used for weight loss. I go back in November for a diabetes test, actually. I have to fast and then go in in the morning and have some lab work done. Um, it's possible I'm pre-diabetic, but it's not. I don't think I am. I don't have any of the, um, I don't have any symptoms for diabetes. And oh my God, a far-fetched. Farfetch'd is now the only Cantonian Pokemon I'm missing in Pokemon Go. I've had one before, but I need another one for the living decks. I had the Galarian Farfetch'd, but I don't have this one. Come on, Niantic. Damn it, it's gonna be like that, huh? <laughs> Bye. Oh, yeah. 
Ozempic is is got it's overused like crazy. Everybody's using it because it's good for weight loss. Farfetched. If it eats the plant stock it carries as emergency rations, it runs off in search of a new stock. <laughs> Cheese. Pop it. Okay, you're also flying type, so I wonder. How will this do? Oh, there we go. The hoppet is grass flying, so I was kind of wondering if the grass was going to hold back that attack. Speaking of Cheetos, have we all seen the mugshot? <laughs> the infamous mugshot? Oh, it tickles me so. Oh, I hope he rots in prison. How was that for the Kubert stare? I lost Onyx, but it was worth it to get the stare. Yeah, he he did look like he was given the stare in that mugshot. That's true, he's rich, he'll never pay for his crimes. The rich never do. That's unfortunate, but it's true. Shit, Confuse Ray, oh man. All right, I guess I'll get rid of look, I mean look. Beauty Valerie took down Onyx because I was trying to do the stare. Well, I wasn't even doing a Kubrick stare. You just said stare, and I started staring at the screen or at the camera. Three hundred percent capacity. Yeah, it's gross. America's gross. It's real gross. You get jailed over the slightest little thing like marijuana offenses. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the rich get away with all sorts of. Ponzi schemes, a pyramid schemes, and they never see the day in jail. <laughs> Honestly, if I had the money and the means, I'd leave this fucking shit show of a country behind. I'd move somewhere else. I swear to God. I hate this place. Hate it. With a passion. The rednecks and the Nazis can have this dump. You feel an onyx? Ah, I didn't mean to jump over the thing.
Oh, that sucks. I was really hoping as the boomers die out and Gen Z comes into their own with, you know, voting age, that we would start to see some differences. I'm kind of hoping that Trump is emblematic of, of, I'm kind of hoping that he is, if nothing else, a symbolic last stand for fascism in this country. Like, they, they tried one last go at it, and it didn't work, and I hope nobody else tries again. Yeah, until we get rid of the Electoral College, voting's not really going to help much. But we have seen a few states change blue that I didn't think would happen. It was so weird. Yeah, pretty much. Like, there are no left-leaning politicians. It's just not a thing that exists. There's the right, and then there's the right wearing a mask. <laughs> Which is why when people, people bitch, like, my biggest thing is the whataboutism. I hate the whataboutism. Oh, yeah, Trump, you, you want to indict Trump? What about Hillary, Hillary, Hillary? Lock her! I don't care for her. I don't like Biden either. I liked Obama, but he was still trigger happy with those drones. Those drone strikes. The what about is it kills me. If they did something wrong, lock them up. All right, taser face. Give me a well-placed thunder. Another slowpoke? <laughs> oh yeah, the pizza thing. Oh, that was so absurd. Did I lose a did a Pokemon faint during that? Or am I just crazy? Oh no, we just got down to one HP, that's what it was. Not repel. Where the hell are my items? What? This is not a good matchup. How about... We send out Ben. Taser face. Well, chat named all the Pokemon. I didn't. I don't remember who named it, Taser face. Was it you? You the one who gave us taser face? Can't believe you've done this. <laughs> I 
It might be a Guardians of the Galaxy reference, but all I ever think about is Dodgeball. Blazer and Taser. Have you guys seen the insane price that physical copies of Pokemon DS games go for now on my eBay? It's insane. I actually got an ad the other day on Instagram and it was like somebody trying to sell their cartridges on Etsy, which is a weird place to sell them. Why Etsy? But it was like a hundred and something dollars for Soul Silver. I guess I got the ad because I must have typed in Soul Silver somewhere for this. I'm still not seeing any ads on threads though. I remember on Twitter, it, it had gotten so bad on Twitter, it was like a post ad, a post ad, a post ad. But I haven't seen any ads on threads yet. I still get ads on Facebook and Instagram though. And I'm on TikTok, but I really pretty much just post to TikTok. I don't watch the content over there. So I don't know how bad the ads are over there. There's a lot of Pikachu on this route. Damn it. I figured something like that would have sold in a heartbeat. but doesn't do too badly. <laughs> I'll take eight. <laughs> Radicate. You're late for our date, Radicate.
There we go. Isn't that just crazy though? A game that you bought years ago that should have depreciated in value ended up being ended up fetching you just as much as you paid for it. Isn't that bizarre? You know, it just goes to show that people really want to keep playing these games and game preservation is definitely an issue we definitely need to be talking about definitely how many more times can i say definitely <laughs> that is a discussion we need to be having as a society media preservation in general not just for video games because companies like disney they can just on a whim decide well i don't want snow white to be available anymore i only want the live action version available on the market so they can put the animated version in the vault and you might not see it again for another 75 years they can just do that especially as streaming becomes the main way that we get our media and dvds go out the window completely Exactly. Let me take a second while I'm thinking about it. Is there not a way to customize my bet? Like, is there not a way to move things? Oh, I have to do it that way. Okay. We'll go ahead and clear the lighthouse before going overseas. I also need to try and get a uh, metal coat. You know, after we fight this Noctowl, we'll see if we can get a metal coat. I also need to look up and see what uh, moves that Onyx learns and make sure that I don't evolve it too quickly. Which is something I guess I can do post stream. Yeah, Tyler and I have, he has his own collection. I have my own collection, but we definitely, we put on a pirate hat for most of it. And we are unpolo unapologetic for it as well. Like just, it's not only the media preservation angle, it's how many times can I pay for the same content? You know what I mean? How many times over the years have I bought the same game twice? More than twice. I bought and paid for all those Nintendo 64 games when they were new, physical cartridges, and now I'm being asked to pay $50 a month to Nintendo, or a year to Nintendo to access those same games that I already paid for years ago. And once the Switch is out and the new console comes in, there's no guarantee that I'll be able to play those games on that system. I'd have to, to pull the Switch out, dust it off, play the games on the Switch, and then what happens when the Switch breaks down and Nintendo doesn't do repairs on that unit anymore? I'm just boned. And it's games as a service now, which I'm not a huge fan of. So, uh... If Nintendo discontinues the service and I can't pay the $50 a year for access to it, alright, fuck this Donk Towel.
Oh, we got a full restore here. Alright, not so. You had this coming. How in the hell did it survive? Thunder. How? Well, you didn't survive that. Okay, let's backtrack a little. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. Like I said, I don't want to just rush through this playthrough like I've done with, with Pokemon games in the past. But let's take a breather and see if we can't find ourselves a metal coat for Onyx. Yeah, somebody's cooking while I am streaming and my stomach is really talking to me about it. Let's find you a media coat. I never really did the Battle Frontier stuff. I didn't care for it that much. Because there was nothing to get out of it. It was strictly for the fun of battling, so... Okay, in order to find a metal coat, what you need to do, ideally, you would have the move Thief, but we don't have access to that, I don't think. But Magnemite will appear on this route, and if you're lucky, one of them will be holding a metal coat. The only way to really know is use Thief or catch the thing. So we're going to catch it. Or at least try to. Yeah, I feel you completely on that. Anxiety is one of the biggest reasons I eat. I depression eat, I boredom eat. I have late night binges because I'm up all night. It's awful, I hate it. The units at its sides of its body generate anti-gravity energy to keep it aloft in the air. What the hell is anti-gravity energy? Oh, that's right. I don't have a way of checking because it sends them back to the box. And this is an older generation, so I can't check the box from here. That's right. Well, 
We're just going to have to deposit all our Pokemon and do this methodically. Item none, so I wasted my time. You guys can chill in here for a bit. While I work on finding Onyx, it's Metal Coat. Somebody else is holding me home. We'll take Amber Palm because Amber Palm has pickup as well. Pickup might work in our favor. I don't know what the list of items are for pickup, but I'll take it. decoration they really miss an opportunity there with not having it pick up actual items that you need Scratch and tell will be taken. escape crap.
I'm not sure what. Oh God, Tauros. I'm not sure what the um <clears throat> the odds are on finding an item. Maybe this won't faint it. Ooh, critical hit, cut it close. Cut it really close. Damn. Okay. was so close. <clears throat> regular Pokeballs left and then we're going to be using all of the healing balls that I bought because they were all I could afford at the time. I didn't even see any regular Pokeballs when I went shopping. I don't know what the deal is with that. This isn't, this isn't even what I set out to do. I set out to find a metal coat on a, on a Magnemite and here we are trying to catch Tauros. Jesus, this Tauros is tough. There goes Onyx. You Tauros, I've had enough of your shit. Ridiculous.
Let me see, do I have anything to paralyze it with? No, I could confuse it, but that it might faint itself. That's not going to be good. Given all the resources, the time, and effort that I put into catching this thing. Jesus. Why does Horn Attack do so much damage? God damn. All right, it's probably gonna use horn attack, so this is our last shot. But we failed. Well, we tried our best and that's all I can do. I'm just simply out of resources. I also think that was fucking stupid that I couldn't catch that Tauros. Are you serious? The amount of resources that I wasted on that that just pisses me off. Fuck off, I'm not in the mood. <laughs> Let's see. afford eight of those god damn I need more money even in video games I never have enough money ain't that some shit Now we're not going to run into any Magnemite. There you go, sport. If the Meowth or the Raticate would have Thief. I forgot how hard it was to catch Pokemon back in the day because the new games have made it so overly easy. Okay, you little bitch. Get in the orange.
No. That one wasn't holding anything either. Okay. Well, I really wanted to stream for two hours, but I have something that I have to go do at six o'clock, and it is unfortunately six o'clock, so we're just going to wrap it up with an hour stream today. I'll be back this weekend with some longer streams. I have nothing going on for the next couple of days, and I'll be free to really dedicate some time to it. But I'm going to farm this off screen and see if I can't find a metal coat. I don't want to put you guys through an endless cycle of hunting down Magnemite. So, but thank you guys so much for joining me today. I will see you guys back here tomorrow.